Hey there, this is Jake from Maple Forge. Just doing a little video. If anyone else has an old country barbecue gravity smoker, I've got one. I've had it for over a year now, and I like it. it. Does everything I need it to do. Just one thing to check every once in a while, and I'll show you here. Up inside, you know, in the box, that's your ash clean out and where you put your wood in for your smoke flavor. Up inside, when you take the fire grate out, there's some expanded metal. That's where your your actual you know your smoke and your heat goes through, and you can kind of see it gets plugged up. All right, I was doing some smoking the other day. I was wondering why it was taking so long to get up the temperature. Yeah, you know, it just wasn't getting there. So I let it burn right out after I was done. It took longer than I thought it was going to take. I was doing a smoke. Uh, smoked pork butt and some uh, pork belly on here and it was just taking a lot longer taking a long time to come up to temp so like you say I let it burn out overnight and I'm giving a good cleaning now and you can see how much of your air vents your air vent gets plugged up with ash over time and uh, I never really thought about it until I cleaned it out today so every once in a while when you give it a good cleaning, take your ash grate out and really make sure you clean out this expanded metal because you'll lose, you know, maybe a quarter of it or so. And these things don't have a ton of airflow anyway. They don't work like that. So once in a while, just make sure you clean this expanded metal out, okay? Otherwise, otherwise you just won't get the airflow that you need. It takes a lot longer for it to heat up. But... Um, but I say otherwise it's a great unit. I picked it up down at Mason Dixon Barbecue last year down in uh, Greencastle, Mar uh, Greencastle, Pennsylvania. So I gotta clean the whole thing out, but you know, it's a good unit. So just something to keep track of if you have one. All right, have fun. Bye.